What is going on everyone back with another banger of a video if this is your first time here Make sure subscribe if you are not because I post amazing super sweet epic videos All the time. All right So I've been thinking low-key about starting a bulk um, nothing like an insane bulk so just my plan was probably like half a pound to a pound gain a week. I want to gain around, I want to get to like 200, maybe 205. I'm not too sure yet, so maybe like 10 to 15 pounds I have to gain. Um, so that'd be like 10 to 15 weeks, unless I take it a little bit slower, then it'll be like 10 to 30. I wanted to kind of help you guys. If you may be bulking, you know, give you guys some tips or, you know, high calorie meals to help you gain the weight you will need and kind of give you guys some information on how to properly bulk and how to track your calories just kind of take you guys through maybe do like a little series not too sure yet but those of you who are having troubles bulking I got you we gonna make some good food and some fun food you know gotta have fun while cooking and eating to enjoy it right Make sure to cook with love so it tastes amazing. <laughs> but I gotta get my first meal going. I'm probably just gonna have some eggs and some toast, something like that. I'm not too sure though. Yeah, I lied. I'm not having eggs because my silly self forgot. I need to get eggs. We're all out. They went bad. Um, so instead, I have some apples. I have one apple four tablespoons of peanut butter and I have a chocolate peanut butter protein shake from Gorilla, the new protein they just dropped. It's right here. I got it in chocolate peanut butter, which is the only flavor out right now, but they do have a vanilla and chocolate coming in soon. These are the macros on it. Not many for real. You got 135 calories, two fat four carb and 24 protein. Kind of a simpler um, protein, but it does taste very good and it mixes incredibly well. Like there's no chunks, it tastes like a smooth drink and that's what I really like because I hate taking protein, I really do. That's why I never really do it. Um, and I didn't, I didn't expect too much from the chocolate peanut butter because I don't really, it's ironic because I'm having peanut butter right now, but I don't really like peanut butter a whole bunch. So a little story time for you guys. When I was like a freshman in high school, I had no idea how to bulk um, or like really anything when it came to fitness, but I just, you know, figured the more you eat, the bigger you get, right? So I had no idea what I was doing. So basically I just had a whole bunch of peanut butter sandwiches every day. So I'd have like a peanut butter, and banana or maybe a peanut butter and jelly and I literally would have seven a day and I had that for like a straight month and I got so sick of peanut butter like every time I've wanted to like just take a bite or like smell peanut butter it's just like Egh. or like peanut butter things are especially like nasty to me for the most part but recently I've been like eating peanut butter like sm in small quantities with apples and stuff like that so I kind of, it's been like six years since then, but after six years, I finally can start eating peanut butter a little bit again. Um, but still, I'm so surprised at how good this protein is. Really excited for the chocolate and villa, vanilla because I know them boys are about to bang. Um, overall calories for this meal, I think is around 634. I have 3,700 calories for the day, so. I need to have like five more meals, something like that. Also, I wanted to tell you guys, if you have no idea how many calories you should be intaking, get a calorie tracker. Just literally go online right now, search calorie intake calculator, put in a few, they're gonna ask you a few questions, set it up, boom, you're gonna find out how many calories you can eat for the day. It's gonna give you your maintenance calories, so let's just say 2,500. All right, so if you have more than 2,500, you're gonna gain weight. If you have less than 2,500, you're gonna lose weight. The more you eat over your maintenance or the less you eat under your maintenance, the faster you're gonna gain or lose the weight. Typically, on bulking, you really can go however fast you want, but I'm going to take it really slow because the faster you bulk, 
the more fat you're gonna put on and obviously you don't wanna put on a whole bunch of fat. So I'd recommend one to two pounds gained a week. Two pounds is like the absolute max. Anything more than that, you're gonna be adding on a lot of fat and you know, that's something you can decide on your own time if you just wanna put on the weight real fast, that's on you. I am now about to have my pre-gym meal. I got some chicken nuggets going in the air fryer right now. Got these gems from Costco. 160 calories for three ounces, 16 protein. And I got me right here, potato. Potato and some chicken. I'm throwing the potato in the microwave. Really easy to cook potatoes, make sure to wash them off, get them real nice and clean, stab a bunch of holes in them with a fork, wrap them up in like a dampish paper towel, throw them in the microwave to seven to nine minutes, depending on how big the potato is, and then add an extra two minutes per every extra potato you have so in case y'all didn't know how to make potatoes in a microwave got my food all done got the potato and I got the chicken added a little barbecue sauce and hot sauce because I can it's been like 20 minutes since I finished up my food and now I'm headed to the gym got my pre right in here I have one scoop of black cherry mode and then I have one scoop of firefly lemonade nitric I've been rocking with that lately because I just ran out of fruit punch nitric like uh, probably a week ago or something so I've been rocking the firefly lemonade and mixing the two together honestly isn't too bad for real it's like a sort of like a cherry lemonade type beat gorilla needs to drop more fruit punch nitric ASAP because that is gas or maybe even drop a black cherry nitric. Mm. That'd be sweet, huh? Huh? Speaking of new drops, tomorrow by the time this video comes out, Gorilla is releasing a new flavor of glycerol, and that's gonna be in lemon lime. The last flavor, honestly, mango peach was not the greatest. So I'm really looking forward to that because glycerol is like the best pump, like ingredient you can ever take so taking like an actual scoop of glycerol will literally like give you a pump so big that your nuts will bust type beat but since it's mango peach i don't really like to take it so i never take it and it's a humongous scoop but it's so good for you and it it's nice so i'm really excited for the lemon lime so i can actually like enjoy it and drink it and then I could even, I can mix a lemon lime with a Sprite. Put the glycerol in a Sprite, boom. You got carbonated glycerol. Ah! You feel me? Just got to the gym. I'm the only one here right now. So that's pretty cool. Well, the owner's here, but he's somewhere. I don't even know where he's at. As of now, the only one in this mug. I got benched today. Fairly short workout. I only have a scheduled three by six and then two hypertrophy exercises. So I'm gonna do a little bit more chest because I feel like I've been wanting to add a little bit more bodybuilding into my program since I barely do any. As of now, it's just mostly a compound and then maybe two or three hypertrophy exercises. So not too much. Um, so I'm gonna talk to my coach about adding some more in on my next block.
just finished up my workout and honestly it was it was just an amazing workout i feel so good got a huge pump i did a whole bunch of exercises i didn't record my i did some lateral raises as well because it was just looking silly on camera being still so i didn't include those but i did do a 3 by 15 on lateral raises as well um so feeling really good now i gotta go home get some food in me gotta eat meal number three and hit the grocery store i forgot that i wanted to do that because we need some a little bit of groceries like i said and we need some eggs some cheese some butter um and a few other things i gotta go grab the list at home because if i don't grab the list i end up forgetting something and we can't have that right this is what we got on the grocery list. We got some ranch, some hot sauce, egg, butter, Krispies. That's all we're gonna get. I am gonna get some shrimp as well because we don't have any shrimp. If you guys like shrimp or seafood, definitely start incorporating it in your diet, especially when you're cutting because one, super high in protein, two, mad low in calories. Like, yeah, so these shrimp right here, eight shrimp, 90 calories, 22 protein, and they got a little cholesterol in them. That's the only bad thing, but you're young. You can handle cholesterol, you know, just eat, make sure you eat your Cheerios sometime during the day to keep that cholesterol down. Successful trip, got all the goods. Even got a bag of gummy worms. I'm gonna have my next meal. I gotta defrost some shrimp. I was thinking of having some shrimp and a carb of some sort, and I might make some noodles because I was thinking some shrimp and some noodles, it may not be bad. Let's see. Oh yeah, I do. I do, I do. Got a pack of chicken ramen. Really high on the sodium, which is good because I sweat. I sweated a whole bunch. And I need the sodium. I'm gonna do some garlic butter shrimp, which are so good. Just throw some butter in the pan after you got your shrimp defrosted put some garlic in there too let them boys you know cook up caramelize a little bit then they'll throw the shrimps in there and they cook so fast literally once they're defrosted it takes like one minute per side on like medium to high heat zip so fast so you're done so yeah, yeah. got my shrimps in got some butter paprika garlic powder and lemon pepper normally you'd normally you'd want to use actual garlic um but i don't have any right now so we're using garlic powder so yeah and then i got the noodles cooking in the microwave i put them in in a bowl microwaved them for five minutes which i normally microwave mine you can cook them on the stove if you want but i just prefer to microwave them after the five minutes, I'm going to drain a little bit of water out, put the seasoning packet in, mix them up, put it in for like another minute and a half, then drain out the rest of the water and throw my cooked shrimp and with the noodles, Zipso Faxo, you got some noodles and shrimp. Just like that. Super easy. Shrimp's looking real nice. Look at the two together. Just look absolutely pretty, right? I know. What a meal this is. It's honestly not too high in calories, so I'm going to have a Sprite with it. A can of Sprite, because your boy Joe love the Sprite. All right, Sprite is like, it is like the best thing in the whole entire world. I don't even know how it was even, how some, some drink could be so good, but it is. I just like how crisp it is, and you know, here and there, I'ma treat myself to a sweet drink so I'm on to meal number four right now I'm about to make a chicken quesadilla so I thought I had chicken breast but we don't so I'm using the same chicken chunks I used earlier and I'm just gonna cut them up put them on two tortillas <clears throat> toss some cheese on there and then put it on this George Foreman our mini little grill I got look at it Thank you. Boop -boop. And that should only take like two minutes, three minutes to cook, honestly, really easy. Um, I'm going to put a lot of cheese on it just for extra calories because I think I need like 1,900 or like 1,700 calories left for the day. Got my chicken on. Look at that. 
Now I put the chi. Put some chi on there. I might need some more chi than that. Alright, let's see. That right there is a whole cup of cheese. And then top it off with another goober like Dinka. Press it down a little bit. And then just did the dishes. <laughs> nice. I dropped it. Fuck. No! Ah! We gonna be a little smarter this time. I ain't about to hold the camera and try to do that because I done did goofed up last time. I done put more cheese in because 50% fell on the floor. But, see, I just, I said F it. Put them all back in there. Who cares? A little dirt won't hurt me. And plus, I set the top down on her. To go for a little bit it should be fine though because I, I sweep the floors like every single day so if a little little dust a little dirt gets in there it don't even matter because you know what it's for the gains man you know a thousand calories right in this little guy that's the cross section looking pretty nice final product the hot sauce looks terrible because I was running low but the ranch did look sweet. If I wouldn't have messed it up on a hot sauce, we'd have had a beautiful dish. Uh, now, in three seconds, it's going all in my stomach and gonna die. <laughs> Boom. That was mad good. Honestly, it was like my first time ever making a quesadilla for real. And that was really good. And it's crazy. Eating the same things over again, you know, chicken isn't always so good, but if you put it in a quesadilla, it changes the ball game, changes how, changes how it tastes. It is late, but I'm about to make my final meal. I am gonna have some eggs and toast because I didn't get to have them in the morning, and why not? So I'm gonna have like five eggs and four pieces of bread. So it's gonna wrap my day up with, with, a total of 3,754 calories, quite a quite a decent amount. So, yeah, got two sandwiches, both with two eggs. Then we got a remainder, pinka. That's about to get eight. Defeated, left a little crumb, but it's okay. I don't. Ugh, jeez. Pretty stuffed. Feel little bloated right now but i'm gonna wake up in the morning super fueled but i'm gonna wrap this video up here if you guys enjoyed it please smash the like button comment something down below whatever your heart may desire make sure to subscribe if you are not and with that said i'll see you guys in the next one peace